Good and glorious morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are doing well today. I pray that God's favor is upon you. I pray that your eyes and your ears are open to hear the word of God today. I pray that God blesses you beyond measure. I pray that you make room for God to bless you because he can't bless you if he doesn't got no room. If you're not yielded, he can't pour into you. So I pray that we clean. Let's do some spring. Let's do some winter cleaning, some fall cleaning. Let's rip everything out that doesn't belong there. And let's make room for God to dwell, honey. He wants to live with us today in the glorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you about change. In this world, where it's going to be so many changes. Our circumstances change. Our bodies change. Our feelings change. Everything changes. There's one thing that is constant in this world, and that's change. But you want to know something that doesn't change? Oh, yeah, baby. But God. Oh, honey, God does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I pray today that you start to understand that God is that God is steady. God is steady, Freddie, honey. Uh, and when we hitch ourselves to God, then we can learn to be more stable, right? Uh, if we allow our emotions to dictate our life, we're going to have a pretty messed up life. I'm speaking from experience. I was... I still am a very emotional person. I have a good heart. I believe I have a good heart. Uh, but I'm very emotional. But I've learned not to allow my emotions to dictate what I say or do. And since I've started doing that because of the power of God and because I believe in what he says. And he says that I have the ability and the authority to hold thoughts captive under his obedience. That I, it's, I, he gave me a gift. One of the gifts, one of the many gifts that I've opened up and that I put on every day is self-control. It's in Galatians. So if I have this gift... Well, you have it too. It belongs to each and every one of us. If you're saved and if, you, if you're a follower of Christ, I don't know about y'all, but I try to open up every gift God gives me. I got a whole bunch of gifts. I open up every day. I put on peace. I put on joy. I put on love. I put on kindness because without it, I'm going to revert to my old nature. And hmm, I don't like myself for that when I'm like that. Mm, ugly, ugly, ugly. But when I am in the nature of God, when I am like Christ, because he says that I died with him and I rose with him and I am seated at the right hand, which gives me a, the keys to the kingdom. Well, honey, I don't know about y'all, but I use my keys every day. I open the doors I need to walk through and I tell the mountain to get out of my way because that's what God says that I have the authority to do. So I choose to believe God instead of believing my stinking thinking. So see, that's just one of the gifts is self-control so when you learn to harness excuse me sorry about that the devil's a liar honey when you learn to harness your emotions and stand on the faith and the truth of God everything starts to become stable in your life get rooted in the word of God today and stand on the truth of God today in the glorious mighty name of Jesus yes honey I am on stability street and power avenue where are you at holla